my only preview of this smart black box only short introduction just so you know that it uh, exists this is a redundancy bus first guide redundancy bus for more safe flying with rc models it can solve uh, probably three main dangerous situation for your big uh, dangerous and expensive uh, model because of course this is probably not right solution for some easy star or the Sera. <laughs> this is really for big and dangerous and expensive models but of course you can use where you want it can solve problem with your receiver problem with input voltage uh, to receiver problem with receiver just some problem with receiver uh, it can solve problem with power input or battery input for receiver and servos just receiver battery it can and it can solve problem with uh, blocked servo in your motor yes because if you have a blocked servo it could it could be some problem inside the servo or maybe some grass in elevator you don't know just if is servo blocked uh, current in this servo can be really on high level and because servo is mostly connected directly to receiver this big current is going across the receiver and it can damage this receiver it can destroy this receiver or other part in RC system on your in your model and of course without the receiver you cannot control the model to this box you can connect two receivers and this box will in real time select better receiver with uh, better parameters and this receiver it will uh, just use if one of receivers will be damaged broken or just out it will just use only one from two receivers and uh, you can know it uh, through your telemetry that one of your receivers is dead and or input voltage of uh, to your receiver it, it can be problem with wire for example or connector and equal you can uh, select and solve your problem you can land with your model and solve your problem yes if you will use two receivers, you must use X receivers, X6R, X8R and actually X4R2, but X4 with version with uh, SBUS, yes, because we have two X4 receivers, one with SBUS, one without SBUS. So you must use receiver X with SBUS, because both receivers main and or master and slave are connected to this box through SBUS port yes on our SBUS receivers we have standard servo connectors with standard PPM and one SBUS and on SBUS we have every time all 16 channels not depending if it is X4R, X6R or X8R, on SBUS we have every time 16 channels. And this box is for 16 servos, 16 channels. So master, master receiver, we will connect with SBUS to this box in connector, in output uh, receiver 1 and second receiver we will connect again with SBUS to receiver 2 uh, if you want to use two receivers with one model of course you must uh, bind both receivers how to do bind two receivers for one model 
you can find in a manual for each receiver or you can find my older video in my YouTube channel how bind and how use two receivers in one model yes uh, in often we we will use uh, two receivers for 16 channels with standard servos just one receiver is for channel from 1 to 8 and second receiver is for uh, 9 to 16 without this box yes but with this box both receivers will be from 1 to 16 and both receivers will just send to this box full one from 1 to 16 channels all data yes and this box just will select better receiver and uh, if one from receivers will be out it will just works only on one receiver so we have backup on receiver yes uh, master master receiver we will connect not only with s bus to receiver one but with smart port to smart port connector yes but only main receiver only master because like on all multi-receiver systems if you use more receivers only master will send to your transmitter telemetry data yes only master receiver <coughs> slave receiver can, you can we can use uh, as source for servos or for control of servos but not for telemetry data telemetry data are only on master so we will connect S bus to S bus. Why S bus? Uh, tada. Uh, S bus to S bus. Why smart port and smart port to smart port? Why smart port? Because this box has own telemetry sensors. It will analyze and send to your receiver information about voltage of input batteries about currents uh, from uh, input batteries it will send informations about condition of your receivers about input voltage of your receivers and all this and the next and the next data is yes? and all this data you can analyze on your transmitter and of course you can set your switches or voice messages for example if one of my receivers will be off please tell me that information yes so here we can uh, here we can so uh, sorry <laughs> master receiver you will connect with s bus and smart port second receiver you will be connect only with s bus i will connect it now yes this is only just short short introduction with only with one receiver and one battery battery you can use from 4 to 8.4 volts for it means you can use two cell like this two cell lipo battery uh, directly without bec but what is really important to know uh, this is not BEC what voltage you will just connect in this voltage will be going to your 16 servos so if you will connect two cell battery and you will connect servos without high voltage support servos without high voltage support uh, you will just burn these servos yes so if you want to use two cell directly without BC you must use high voltage servos for example I have here one this servo high voltage but of course you can use standard four cell or five cell and ICD or an IMH uh, batteries 
Again, you will connect two batteries. Uh, these batteries uh, can be with uh, different capacity, this is no problem. You will just uh, connect two batteries and this box will select in real time battery with higher voltage and will discharge this battery. We'll use this battery for just for servos and, uh, and receiver. And if one of these batteries will be out, for example, one cell will be dead. Okay, one battery is dead, but you are still flying on second battery. Again, this value you can know, you can know uh, on the ground uh, through your receiver. Yes, and you can landing and you can solve your problem with your battery. And what is uh, interesting because this box now not only uh, voltage but current too, and it means it knows power consumption too. So it knows how many power you discharge from your battery. And again, you know you have two 3 amp hours batteries, so you can set warning if one of my batteries will be discharged more than, I don't know, 2 amp hours, please tell me that. Yes. Maybe you will use more sensors, current sensors, variometer, etc where you can connect it if uh, smart port on your master receiver is just connected to this box it's easy you just will add next sensors here in on this uh, just <laughs> way here on this cable you can connect next sensors <coughs> current sensors variometer etc and on this chain of sensors as last you will connect again your receiver yes this is no problem you can use more sensors uh, like now so about servo protection if current of any servo any of 16 servos if current of any on any servo is to 2.5 uh, amps, all is okay. If current raise up to 5 amps, it is okay, but only for 10 seconds. If it's current bigger than 5 amps for more than 10 seconds, the servo will be just disconnected, will be dead. Yes, will be disconnected from system for protection of uh, damaging of other components in the system. And if is if current will be bigger than 5 amps uh, immediately it will be disconnected just immediately. Yes. Uh, maybe you can tell me okay but without the servo this is just the situation how I can fly without the servo. <laughs> but if it if this servo is, for example, on landing gear or on one of two ailerons, on flap, on brake, uh, you can landing with this airplane without any problems. Of course, it can be servo on elevator. Without the elevator, this is <laughs> a really big problem. But you know, with blocked servo on elevator, Without this protection, you probably cannot control your model, you, you cannot control nothing, yes? But without only elevator, you can change direction of, mo of your model uh, out of people, out of road, out of some building, etc. Yes? Everything for safety flying and for safety of uh, people on the ground, etc. So now I will now I will uh, connect it to my Horus. Why Horus? Because Horus is just with nice and big screen display and on uh, on uh, Taranis is just same. 
yes, like on Horus, but on Horus it look, it looks like just just better. Sorry for my English. Welcome to Open TX. Okay, I will just detect some. Uh, this is not Fantic. This is redundancy bars. Okay, I will just detect uh, telemetry sensors from this box and you will see how many of the sensors are here and uh, it's not all, if I will connect all 16 servos I will see more um, just telemetry sensors. So I will go in on telemetry screen and here I will discover new sensors and you can see how many sensors we have here and what is interesting for us. This is uh, for example first this. This is RX battery 1 voltage. Yes, this is voltage of battery one. Yes, battery which is now connected uh, to this uh, redundancy box. Rx battery one amps current. Yes, this is current uh, going now from this uh, battery. And this is uh, power consumption, power consumption uh, of this battery. Yes, this is not zero because I try it uh, before recording of this video and uh, this is just discharged capacity from my try. Here we have uh, same uh, numbers for next battery and here we have next values for, for uh, Status of receiver at Sera. Again, if you want uh, know more, you must just study it in your manual. So I think uh, that's all. Again, it was only only um, just short introduction, only short preview of this interesting. Uh, interesting uh, gadget or thing so thank you for watching have a nice day and see you later